right, guys, what is going on? Friday afternoon, just got off of work, changed clothes, got over here. It's a little bit later, um, but we're still gonna get something done today. Uh, after work, we jumped right on the phone with ISPRO, kinda got a hold of somebody uh, ra rather quickly. Um, they did actually have a test procedure. As you can see, I was actually I was gonna show you guys. Uh, we busted out the voltmeter, um, and what they wanted you to do was just jump some pins. I put the dash back together, and I did wanna check all the wiring behind there, but what I really didn't realize is what I should have done is just, let me see if I can do it to one of these. All right, of course, I'm not gonna be, oh, there it goes. I left enough slack in the wiring where I can just check the wiring kind of just like that. So what they want you to do is they want you to grab a voltmeter and there's a series of voltages that you're looking for that will either dictate the sensor or the gauge being bad. Um, they wanted the key on, you know, which when our key is on, you know, I'll show you again. You know, everything turns on, um, it does its little thingamajig here. Um, and then they wanted me to turn it on and try and get it to the point where it was, you know, how it usually comes down in the six o'clock position. So when it was in the six o'clock position, they wanted me to uh, do some test procedures, which is what we've been doing here. Um, so with that, I had to start the truck. We had needed to start the truck to try and get that gauge to mess up again so we could test it while it was messed up, which in fact means we needed to try and wrap up some of the turbo stuff so I could fire this Larry up. So I did put the oil feed fitting in, the oil feed line, and the new oil feed gasket. They required some different uh, thread bolts, which I had. So we went ahead and did that. This is not still fully tightened, but it was tightened just enough to kind of run it. And and we ran it and wouldn't you know, the gauge did not mess up for us. So I have no idea why. I don't know if we need to actually drive it. I'm not really sure, but either way, I'm gonna leave the voltmeter in the truck and that is gonna ride along with us until the gauge messes up again. Maybe it's fine, I have no idea, but it's not working now for me to test it correctly. That's really the whole point of what I'm trying to get at. So that's where this afternoon started off now what we're going to do is try to complete the turbo installation what we're going to do first though oh and the other thing is this intercooler pipe will not work I, I threw the cover on there just to see if we could try and get to all of the uh compressor cover bolts i think we can while it's on the truck so we're going to do that after this other thing but this pipe is too short. So we went and we ran to the store. We ordered the correct bend pipe and we'll probably have to do some welding along with you know, the hood stack fabrication, but I wanted to try and get that rolling because if I would have saw that, then had to order it, it's a day away. So anyway, we got the pipe ordered so we're not being any more delayed than we have to be. But anyway, we're gonna start off. There was one package in the PO box when Allie went there this afternoon and we do have our new injector harness plugs. Now these are a factory Cummins part for probably an industrial engine. So we're gonna get these popped in. As you can see, there is no 90 connector. It is just one straight connector. You can kind of see how that one looks. It's got a 90, it's in the way. This one is a little stubby, little, little short guy. And that's gonna sit super flush. The harness is gonna come over from a different direction and we are gonna be in good shape. So super happy, got these overnighted. The awesome dude who got me these actually is probably gonna be building the custom wiring harness. I'm gonna put his Instagram name up on the screen if you guys wanna check him out. They do not have a part number, I have no idea. He had to source these. These are pretty rare, pretty hard to come by. So take a look at what they look like at the end of the video. If you guys do want some, I'm sure he can get you a pair, but you're gonna to have to contact him and he's also a awesome awesome guy to check out if you're looking for any custom or any type of wiring harness he's big into wiring so uh super happy we got these he re he, re he reached out to me he's the one who saved our butts uh with these so huge thank you for that um anyway let's open up this real quick and then we'll start to get to work here in a little bit this is from matthew in massachusetts Oh boy, I can already, <laughs> there's a note, but, oh man, the note fell. Baby, baby owner's manual. <laughs> oh man, all right, let's read this note here. As I'm looking at this, the baby owner's manual, operating instructions, 
<laughs> Operating instructions, troubleshooting tips, and advice on first year maintenance. That's funny, it's, it's like a car manual. Here, Greg A, I have been watching and learning from you quite some time. I believe my first video was the video explaining why you choose an air dog for the 08. It's great to have been able to watch the channel grow as well as your impressive fleet. I started slightly later, wait, I, start, I started slightly later start than you did as I am 29 now. Just got my first truck about a year ago. She's a 2006 2500 Laramie quad cab, of course being black, nice. Per your recommendation, I have an air dog 4G in my shop waiting for some nice weather to install. I'm waiting for nice weather for everything. I feel your pain. With your going fleet of trucks, your family had to grow some too at some point, and it seems that it's very near. I hope you find enclosed instruction manual helpful for the installation and setup. Baby A, there is a similar manual for pregnancy from the same authors, but I figured it was a little late to send you to that alley, send at the alley now. Wishing you and Allie the best, Matt, and I'll put his Instagram on the screen. Thank you very, very much, man. I do appreciate it. I appreciate everything you guys send me. Uh, you guys are like family to me as well. My PO box is always down in the description if you wanna send me anything, um, but thank you guys so much. Um, I really, I, I, I say it a lot, and you know, I, I do mean it a lot. Um, the support that you guys give me and everything, it, it really does mean a lot to me and Allie. I, we super, super appreciate it. So I just wanna say thank you again for that. Anyway, let's get on with today's activities. Where do we wanna start here? Let's, let's, let's start on the 05. Let's get these harnesses in first. We'll go from there. guys has been quite the evening here uh, I got some stuff done on the 05 got some stuff done on the first gen um, I just spent the last hour or so looking for that bolt that I dropped oh. Son. Uh, I put the compressor cover back on got all of the bolts loosely in there I just wanted to show you guys you can kind of still spin it I want to leave that a little loose as I work as mocking up this intercooler pipe you can kind of see 
it's it's just too short. I have the boots as far out as I really want to go down there on the intercooler as well. So this pipe just isn't really going to work. So we're just going to make our own. Pretty much ready to start fabrication on the uh, hood stack and the intake pipe. And then the feed and drain are done. And we just got to tighten up the uh, exhaust uh, manifold to housing bolts, studs, whatever you want to call them. And... Then the, the turbo is done. So we're gonna work on that later in the week. We do also have another early morning tomorrow. We're gonna head up to Bob Coker's Coker Chassis where we're gonna give you guys a drag truck update. Probably spend the day up there, work with them. Um, got some news on the drag truck. And yeah, so we gotta, we gotta go home. Um, I do wanna spend some time with Allie tonight. So we are gonna try and cut tonight a little bit short. What, what time is it already? I bet you it's already like nine o'clock. Yeah, it's almost nine o'clock already. So yeah, it doesn't leave very much time, but uh, here is, here's the fitment on the Banks intake with the new connectors. It does, let me scoot scoot over here. And, and you know, the, the only thing that I gotta say is, you know, I know why they put the engine oil dipstick tube right there, but seeing how it comes on an angle, I, I'm not a fan. I'm just not not a huge fan of that. I don't. It, it should be like over here. I, I know why they try to leave that all clean, but I don't know. It's just not my favorite being right there. But anyway, let me try and give you guys an up top view here. You do not get much closer than that with that straight connector. That can the the, the engine harness connector barely snuck by that injector line, but it does fit. It's tight. And it looks so good. Really, really clean look with the straight ones. I really like the look with the straight ones. When you look down on top of the engine, you can't really see anything. Just looks clean, like the way it should be. So super happy with that. Got the intake horn on. Got the rest of the fuel lines uh, tightened up down below there. And this thing is just one more step away from being completely done. I know I keep saying that every time, but a little bit here and there always adds up. But got that all done. That's all wrapped up. I also should have an exhaust manifold to put the turbo and everything else on that truck early next week. So we will definitely be firing that thing up probably by early next week. Tomorrow we're gonna be at Bob's. Uh, Sunday we'll be back here. Hopefully I have some energy left. I really need to wash my truck very badly. So we might, Sunday might be a wash day, but I do wanna try and get the hood stack and the intercooler pipe done hopefully done maybe we'll go see our man russell on sunday get everything welded back up and try and wrap this thing up next week too so we have some final tweaking we really got to still mess with the pump we got to turn the power down a little bit because it's still kind of hanging it kind of scared the crap out of me we we're driving along and it just did not want to start coming down it didn't run away but it just hung there for like three seconds before it started to come down so we still have to mess around with the idle and that it's like a never ending tweaking on these mechanical engines. But um, so is life. That's the update. That's kind of where everything is currently at right now. I almost forgot again. We need to grab these motor mounts, engine mounts, whatever you want to call them. We got to bring these up to Bob. We actually got to put them on the truck tomorrow so he can make up our mid plate mounts. So we do not want to forget these.